What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and J family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. <laughs> it's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction video. video. Welcome to the Fallen Stage. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. Remember that the Fallen Stage is now on locals.com. So uh, click the link in the description to support our work. And thank you all in advance. And you can also become a member of the Fallen Stage and support that way by joining our YouTube, on our YouTube channel there, all right? I have with me very Mama Mia interesting couple today. I have with me Half and Jay from the Half and Jay YouTube channel. Thank you guys again for coming on. Thank you for Thank having you us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having Amazing. us. Amazing. So I watched a couple of your videos because you guys critique other people's videos, right? Yes. How did you get into that first? What made you start doing that? Do uh, you call it critique or? You could call it critique, I guess. OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good word to call it. Mm -hmm. um, so what happened was, the pandemic, pretty much. That's what, how we got started into YouTube. So uh, I was a car salesman, uh, 20 years. And uh, I was at a job for eight years before the pandemic hit. Right. Pandemic hit, um, got fired, like a lot of people did. Got let go. Oh. And um, didn't know what else to do. So one of my friends of mine, sister, was on YouTube doing reaction videos. Oh, yeah, reaction, yeah. Right. That's so, you know, he gave me the number, reached out to her. And uh, she told me how to set everything up, what to do, how to edit, so forth and so forth. And uh, we just kind of did it as a hobby at first. Right. Nice. And uh, we dropped a couple of videos. They did good. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it was like, wow, so maybe this might be something that we could do. Right. You know, and uh, here we are, what, two years, three years later? Three years. Nice. 300,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Right on, man. Yeah. Um, so are you guys married? No. You're not married? No. Are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes. yes. Oh. And does uh, does Jay obey you? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on when you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you talking oh, about inside the bedroom or outside the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, oh, I mean, yeah, she, she, she's, she's, a, uh, she's a good woman. She's a good woman. Does she obey? I wouldn't say obey. I she doesn't obey? I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that, the name obey. You Why know not? Because I mean? it's more like a, uh, like a pet. Like you know a what? what? Like a pet, like a dog or something. Like how you, come, you, how dog come it like that? You. I don't know. That's the way I look at it. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's the way I look at it. But why do you look at it that way? Uh, because I have two dogs, and I kind of make sure they, they obey what I tell them to do. Oh. So I kind of look at it as towards really? that way. Yeah. Um, so you don't obey him? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Um, I, I, I follow suit. I follow suit. I, you know, if he needs me to do anything, I'll do it. That's a good answer. You know. That's a good answer. But how about obey? What is, okay, when you say obey, what do you mean? To obey your husband. I mean, your boyfriend, but same as her, like marriage, right? Like marriage, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I listen pretty much overall, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> mm, and I, I do my own thing. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> no. No, I don't. You don't? No. You say you don't? I mean, I, I listen to, he gives me advice. I listen to that. He needs me to do anything. I do it. Um, I guess you can say I, I obey to a certain. It's just the word obey just sounds harsh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Does it sound harsh to you? No. Oh, it, no? It, so doesn't, you, it doesn't sound harsh to you. Me either does it sound harsh to you. Okay. All right. Beta. You said old baby. <laughs> <laughs> you old baby did. Like, I have no problem, problem, you know, doing things that he need me to do. 
But do you wish you had a man that you have to obey? That's a good question. Mm. No. You don't? No. And why not? Oh, my goodness. I'm putting a hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obeying is submitting, right? Yes. <laughs> Why you keep looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. Well, I mean, I have half, and. You have what? Half. Well, would you rather have the whole or the half? I'd rather, I have the whole. I but do. you just said you have the half. I, I, have, I have my half, my, my other half, but oh, I. Man. Oh my goodness, <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so how does, uh, how does he deal with the hell in you when it comes out? Uh, he, he walks away, he leaves or. Really? Yeah. He's a really good man. You, do you wish he would stay there and deal with it to help bring it out of you? So you can get over it? No. You don't, you love your hell? I, I don't love it. Right. But. Yeah, I, I'd rather us just separate when it's when when things get heated. But if he helped bring it out, eventually you won't have it. True. Right. True. So you wish he would stay there and deal with it right and bring it out of you. Yes. Amazing, huh? Yes. <laughs> that's Did, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Why don't you deal with the hell in her so she can get over? That's your job. Uh, kind of looked at it that way actually. And you why know, not? Like you just said, like as far as staying there to allow her to get the hell out of her. Yeah. Never looked at it like that. I want to go the opposite way when I see the hell coming out. Really? Yeah, because it's too hot. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Man, it gets hot. Right, it is rough. But she really would prefer you, prefer you to help her get over it so she could be done with it. Right, right. And then you have a wife that lasts forever. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And looking at it that way, then, yeah, I mean, uh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. yeah, and so you run because it's too much to handle. I wouldn't say run. I, I feel like I you just um, walk real fast. Real fast, kind of like a jog. That's running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but wow. I mean, just because you know, women sometimes need to um, um, let their emotions out and vent with who they need to vent to at the time, so they can just calm themselves down. You know but what I mean? Emotions are evil, though. They want to overcome them. You know, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like emotions are something that you not want. You don't want to hold on to. It. You want to right. get over it because it is evil. Right. It destroys your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The man, the cat, the dog. Right. right. The grass. Right. The paint on the house and everything. Yeah. Have you noticed with angry women, the paint fall off the house? Yeah. She gets yeah. chipping away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she needs you to be strong. So, so that's why can... our paint falling off the walls. <laughs> our paint. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and so, are you, what do you think about when you hear that now? As far as the, dealing with it, so you can able to overcome it. I can approach it differently now. Oh, good. You know what I mean? I can, yeah. I can, like you said, I can stand there and, and allow her to uh, to vent. However, she like she needs to vent. Yeah. However, that may be. You know, whether it's hell coming out or whether it's, you know, this da, 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 or you know whatever. Right. So just let and her... don't take it personally. Right. It's not right. personal. It's in her. Right. Right. And. She's just trying to get over it, and you're created to help her to get over it, not right. take it personal. Right. Good point. Isn't that amazing? Good point. Are you emotional? Um, when it comes to my kids, yes. Really? Yeah. And what do you mean by that? Like, um, <clears throat> if I see one of my kids hurting, uh, especially my youngest, which is my boy, uh, nine years old, right. uh, if I see him sad, hurt, um, uh, then I feel the emotion from that. You do? And what yeah. good does that do? Well, I don't let him see it. I know, but what good is it doing you to feel that way? Uh, I think it allows me to l let me know that I'm still human, and I still do have feelings, and I do still have emotions myself. And, and sometimes should a man have emotion? I think they should. Should a man have emotion? I think they should. 
I f yes, I feel it. But if you got two emotional people, how are you gonna help? Well, that's true. Well, huh? that's, that's true. Well, not emotional in that way, though. It I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Ooh, boo, and crying, and, and I'm just showing compassionship, companionship. But compassionship is not emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Have you ever thought about that? No. No, and why not? Um, it just never crossed my mind. Did you know that women hate men that are emotional and weak like them? They want their man to be strong. Of course. And so in knowing that, why haven't you worked on overcoming that for her? And period, for you and first, but for her, for the woman that you're with oh. and your children. Overcome the emotion part yeah. of myself. Yeah, I think for the most part, I don't really show emotion though. I mean, she'll tell you that. Like, but I, you I don't. Still have it though. No, I still have it. Yeah, but, but why not overcome it so you don't have it? Um, because I don't think my emotions get the best of me. I, I never present my emotions to anybody. So would nobody even know that I'm going through emotions? But do you Unless know? I, told, I know myself. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather have peace instead of emotion? Uh, yeah. Amazing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it, an emotional man? That should be an easy one. An emotional man. <sighs> I feel... I feel an emotional man is soft. Um, you know, a lot of, but in the black community, a lot of times, you know, when a, a boy is crying, you know, we're quick to stop crying. You know, you, you know you're a man at the right. end of the, you know, you're a man. And yeah. so it's, I feel, I feel a man should be able to cry. At a funeral or something? At a funeral, yes. For a few minutes? Yes. Uh -huh. um, but in, like I, in the black community, when, when a man or a, a boy is frustrated, it builds up and they're, they're quick to sock a wall or tear, you know, tear a room up, right. just go crazy. Yeah. So I don't... And I, I look at that as dysfunctional. It is. But they can overcome it if the parents show them how to overcome it. Right. Because it's abnormal for a man to be emotional. Right. Any male that has emotions become like his mama. Mm. He has his mama's nature. Mm -hmm. And that's why God said we must be born again of the father. We must return to the father. Mm -hmm. Because in the father, it's not emotional. It's logical. It's common sense. And mm -hmm. It's love. It's light. It's right. all that. Right. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And that's, uh, um, but a lot of people don't know that, and it's causing a lot of problems. And in that's relationships true. relationships and everything. That's true. Right. Yeah. It's true. Right. And then they pass it on to the children. Right. And they just keep going More over. dysfunction. Uh -huh. Yeah. Amazing, huh? That's amazing. Right. <laughs> amazing. For real. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Amazing. Oh, yeah, you Amazing. counselor, you schooling us today, counseling right. us. We, we need it. Right. <laughs> we right. need it. Right. Absolutely. Right. Because I, I love him, and I, I, want, I see myself growing old with him to where he's changing my diapers. Right. Just you change take, your diapers? Oh, yeah. In case, you know. I don't know in case, that. <laughs> <laughs> You see me on the You change the love you want. I'm just. <laughs> I'm a jokester sometimes, but yeah, yeah I, I do. Him. I see myself growing old with him. Nice. Yeah. I do. Um, are you guys Christians? Yes. yes. You're Christians. Yes. Um, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Yes. <clears throat> Absolutely. And what does it mean to be in a fallen state? Just being lost in, in, in not aware yeah. of, of, you know, what's righteous and, yeah. you know, um, what you should and should not be doing. You know what I mean? To me, it's, 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 it's like common sense, like things we <laughs> reacted to oh, yeah. on, our, on our channel. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just, um, <laughs> you know, these agendas that people be pushing and they feel, you know, everybody got to fall in line with these certain agendas, and if you don't, then 
You're canceled. You know, you cancel and right. things like that. You know, what a it's, mess. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. What so, a mess. Right. Do you believe human beings are in a fallen state? Yes. And how do you overcome it? Me, I pray. How should a human being overcome oh, Go ahead. I pray, I stay, I pray. I'm constantly talking to God daily. Yeah. And I just, I, I, I talk to God. And what do you say to him? Just anything that, anything that's going on. Um, I even pray before I watch certain TV shows. I pray for God to, like if I'm watching a horror, <laughs> horror movie, I know this, I don't know if this might sound crazy, you but. You a horror movie? Horror, oh. a scary Oh, film, horror. horror. Oh, I yeah. thought you said a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I pray, I pray before I watch it. <laughs> I was about to say, you watch those? <laughs> well, I did as a child. Okay. <laughs> as a child, I did. I was a Damn, curious, curious kid. That's going to be kid. another interview. Right. I know. <laughs> and so you pray, and when you pray, what do you say? Uh, just talk to him how I'm talking to you, just it, with anything. Um, yeah, I just have like a one-on-one -on -one talk and I'll, you know, ask God to protect me and my family have, you know, well, you know, everyone, yeah. everyone around Has he me. ever answer, does he answer your prayer? Oh, yes. He does ask yes. him. Have you ever asked him to take the anger from your heart? Yes. And did he take it? He, I'm a work in progress. Did he take it? Not yet. Have you ever wondered, why don't you, what the? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I, I, yeah. Yeah. And have you ever wondered why he didn't take it? Yes. Away from you? Yes. And when you ask, what did he say? He's working on me. He's, working on <laughs> he's, he's working he's on like, me. He's like, you're a tough cookie. Oh, yeah. I'm working on you. Oh, yeah. He's, he, yeah. yeah. Tough project yes. right here. Right. Have you ever asked God why has he take? I mean, to take the anger from your heart? Yes. And did he take it away? Oh, no, he didn't take it. No. And so did you ask him why not? Why haven't you taken it away? Yeah. And what did he say? Um... I don't know, actually, to be honest with you. He didn't answer? He haven't answered me yet. You, did you go, what the? I'm, yeah, Why'd you I kind of looked at my watch like, normally you, you know. Uh, but uh, he told me when on his time that he will. He told you that? Yeah. So he said, you know what, half, I ain't doing that now. It's going to be on my time? On my time. And then you asked, well, when is your time? I didn't ask him when. I'm suffering now. Right, know. I didn't ask him when. <laughs> 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 I know he's always on time, though, that's for sure. Right. So, you know. Do you want to overcome it? Absolutely. You can overcome it right now. Yeah. Do you want to overcome it? Yes. Uh, so may I tell you? Mm-hmm. You got to forgive your mother. Mm. For turning you away from your father and pose her, her will on you. Wow. Mm. Wow. And when she turned you away from your earthly father, she turned you away from God. And so you got to go and apologize for resenting her. She couldn't help her. Her mother did it to her. Mm -hmm. And so she's done to you what was done to her. And both of you, when mm. you forgive your mothers, God, don't ask for forgiveness because women don't forgive. Have you ever noticed women don't forgive? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> wow. <Yes. laughs> but go and say, hey, I'm sorry for resenting you. Yeah. I realize now you can help yourself because I'm just like you and I can't help myself. Right. right. I have your nature. Yeah. And, and if she said, oh, I'm sorry, fine, both of you. If she said, I'm sorry, fine. If she doesn't fight, mm -hmm. if she start crying or yelling, just look at her like you're looking at a crazy movie. Right. <laughs> and, and, and don't react at all. Because she's trying to make it be you and not on her. Right. She's not ready to, both of them, right. they're not right. ready to change, right? Right. And if she fall out and die, you just say, oh, mama dead. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and she dead. Oh, man. And so, Go in the kitchen and look in that drawer next to the silverware. That's right. where the insurance paper is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have, you, have you been in her house or something? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then take it and, and cash it in. Yeah. And have a little cheap funeral. Yeah. You know, a little cheap funeral? Let me ask you this question. Do you know any overseas banks that we can... Yeah, that's right. I'm you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then have a little cheap funeral. Yeah. And then before you tell your other brothers and sisters about it, because yeah. they're going to try to take the money. Oh, absolutely. And, and that way you have your money and then get them what left over. <laughs> 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 
You sound like, it, it, yeah, you sound like you've been down that road before. That's where black people put their insurance <laughs> paper. Okay. Right next to the drawer, the kitchen, in the kitchen. Right next to the, right way, next right? to the stove. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Man. Right. And then you guys have to forgive your fathers for not protecting you from the mama because it's the job of the father to, to protect the children from the mother mm -hmm. so she doesn't pass that anger on to them. Right. But the father ends up marrying women just like mama, and they become the boy, and she becomes the mama. It repeats itself all wow. over again. So, and then the children end up screwed up, and it just right. keeps going. But once you forgive, mm -hmm. the buck stops with you, and God would take that spirit away from you and give you back yourself, and you'll be free. Wow. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. So he just sent the message to answer your prayer. Right. That's interesting right there. Right. And don't be scared. You're going to shake in your boots when you talk to him. Oh, yeah. Because you're talking to the devil, mm. and you're afraid of what you hate. Mm -hmm. you, whomever can make you angry also control you, right? Exactly. And so you're going to shake in your boots, but it'll be the last time you ever shake. Wow. That's crazy. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. But it's so true. It is. Yeah. Gotta, because I, I know I've held a lot of resentment towards my mother yeah. for a lot of years. Yep. I held and my against my dad. Yeah. yeah. And my sister, she told me to talk to my mom, and I haven't got the courage to face her and tell her how exactly how I feel. Yeah. And every time she talks to me, it's like I cower because I right. want to tell her. Yeah. But <clears throat> what? That's crazy. Well, wow. it's going to be the last time you will ever know fear when you do it. Wow. Because mm. anger is fear. Fear is anger. Mm -hmm. right. So if you get over the anger, you get over the fear. Get over the fear, you get over the anger. Right. Wow. But it's going to be last time. And you're going to shake in your boots, but it'll be last Me time. Me thinking about it now, I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> shaky. Yeah. yeah. Face and mama is hell. Right. Mama wow. is God. Mama yeah. don't. Right. And she blamed everything on daddy. It's everybody else's yep. fault but hers. Yep, 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 yep. That's facts, though. Wow. That is facts. And, you know, um, my older brother used to always say, you never know what your parents was doing before we was around. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? That's so, like right. you said, like, you know, she always blaming daddy, but uh -huh. what did mama do? Right. That's right. Right. You know? They so, never right. tell you. They, right. They don't tell you, your daddy left me, he didn't leave you. He loved you. Right. He just left me. Right. But mm -hmm. she made you think the daddy left you yep. when he Man. really left her. You hit that on the nose right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, some Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> hey, right. You hit it first. Amazing. Yeah. And you don't hate your father. You're yearning for your father. Yeah. And the anger you have for him is your mother anger because you identify with her mm -hmm. and you think you hate him and you don't. You're yeah. yearning. That emptiness you have it's for your father. Yeah. You're yearning for the father. Wow. And I've never, I've never met my father. I don't even, if he passed me today, I have no clue what he looks like. And when you ask her about him, what does she say? That the reason they separated was because he lied to her about his age. What? No. Uh, but he well, took. Well, that had nothing to do with you. Right. Nothing to do with so you. So I, I really don't know. Have you tried reason. to find him? I've, I've tried, but so many names. He has a f very familiar name, so I. There's. <laughs> but did you ask her his family? Who is his? Fo who are his folks? Or something? Cause you can find his folks, and they'll help you find him. I don't. I don't even know if she remembers any of his. Oh, she remember. I need to ask okay. because she remember. She might not want to tell you because she <laughs> hated him, but right. she remember. Right. And every, my grandmother, rest in peace. She uh. She was telling me how good of a man my father was. Yeah. And my uncle, he also said, spoke highly of my father, but I have, it, it didn't make sense to me when she told me that's the reason. Yeah. So. What a mess. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's amazing. Huh? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> well, you got to deal with the devil. I, She's yeah. the devil. Yeah. You got to deal with it. You got to face the devil, look it in the eye, and deal with it. Mm -hmm. And you'll be free, I'm telling you. And you say, hey, I'm sorry for resenting you. I know now you can help yourself. Right. And oh, that's, yeah. I've been holding resentment for yeah. a long time. And you're never going to have, you can pray to God until the cows come home. Mm -hmm. And he and Jesus just sitting there looking at you like you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cows at home and everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right.
Because yeah. yeah. he's already made a way for us, and that's through forgiveness. Mm -hmm. right. We forgive one another, we'll be right. fine. You got to forgive your father. Ask him, why did he protect you from her? Right. You have to show your father love by asking, why did you protect me from my mama? What went wrong? Right. To hear him out. Right. Because the anger you have for him is your mother's anger. It's not yours. Yeah. And then that void you have will disappear. Mm -hmm. This is what's wrong with all human beings. Mm -hmm. Because every human being that's born through the woman must be born again of the spirit. Mm -hmm. All who are born of the flesh must be born of the spirit, right? Because mm -hmm. coming through the woman, you're coming through evil. And then re forgiving and being born of the Father, you're, born, you're, you're coming back to love, perfect love, mm -hmm. which is of God. Wow, that makes right. so much sense. Yeah. I never thought of it that way yeah. at That's all. Crazy. That makes a lot of more sense. more interviews with you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is therapy. Right, right. This is therapy right, right here. Right. That's what's wow. up. Wow. That's what's up. It's, no. And that's what's wrong with the blacks. Mm -hmm. It's not racism. Right. It's not slavery. Right. It's not Jim Crow. It's not mm -hmm. systemic racism. Mm -hmm. They hate their mothers and they're yearning for the father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's facts, though. That's 100% that's yeah. facts. Because I know, because we have a lot of brothers and sisters from our dad's side of the yeah. family. You know what I mean? So he was, you know, everywhere. Yeah. So, um. Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> like, seriously, though. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, but all my brothers and sisters, or definitely my brothers, um, the majority of them went the wrong way. Yeah. You know, I lost three of them, you know, um, through the street violence and stuff like that. So, um, but it was definitely yearning for a father figure. Absolutely. You know, and yeah, absolutely. I can tell because I do the same thing. That's what the you girls know? are looking for, too. And they try to get that from the man, right. but instead they get screwed. Right, 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 right. They right, don't right. get love. Right, right. right. Because right. a man trying to get love from the woman, yep. and a woman don't have yep. it to yep. give. Yep. Mm -hmm. and it's God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over children. Love come from above, not right. from below. Right. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> we just had church. <laughs> yes, right. we did. Amen. <laughs> we needed that. We needed that. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm glad you guys received it because it's going to really make your life work. Yeah. Right. Once you get past that anger, mm -hmm. and you will literally have no anger, and no matter what people say about you, do to you, or whatever, it won't even matter. Mm -hmm. and if the whole world turned on you, it wouldn't bother you. Right. And I, I you asked me what did I, did I ask God when I pray. I asked him to, to take the anger out, and here we are. Like, everything is making sense to me right now. Right on. You, we, we have, we're here with you, and you're explaining to me how to get rid of my anger. I, yeah. I just prayed this prayer. Wow. wow this is... What's really crazy is when we reacted to one of your first videos, we were saying amongst each other that one day we wanted to hopefully meet you. Right. Wow. We sure did. You know? And then um, we seen another reaction that you did with, uh, I think it was DC Young Fly. Oh, yeah. That one was funny as hell. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> that one was that funny. That was my too. first time ever seeing a grown up act that way. <laughs> He was so upset. I had never seen it before. <laughs> no, but the, my, one of my favorite ones, though, was with the, uh, I think it was the pastor. Was it the pastor? When, oh, the, the, the one that walked, he left. The, the black one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that was, that was interesting, right there. too. Uh, <laughs> I was surprised by that because normally I don't ask people their personal business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what was happening is before we got rolling, some guy was with him. Yeah. And I said, you know, I said hi to everybody. I said, well, <laughs> hi there. Who are you? <laughs> And then the pastor said, that's my boyfriend or husband. I'm like, I'm like your husband. Right. Oh, right. Hey, man, and I'm you, I was laughing on that one, boy. I was surprised when he was so open about it. Yeah. Why you saying that's my husband? We were, too. When, yeah. when we seen the... And then I'm when like, I started asking him about it, because he had already put his own private video out there. Right. That's when he got upset. Yeah. He did. And, and then I was surprised again because I didn't expect, I thought he was okay with it. Right. Yeah. He had announced that he's hood. You know, so <laughs> I had no problem, I had no idea he would have a problem talking, talking about it. Right. And then he It makes sense though. I mean, yeah. if he was so open about it, he right. should be open with, with the conversation. About it. Yeah. That's the only I remember I had a, a, a Catholic priest on, a white guy. And we were I just having a conversation just like this, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then out of nowhere, he said, I'm gay. Or something like that. <laughs> Wait. I'm like, you gay? <laughs> what the? Why are you putting that out there, you know what right. I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody do anything about it. <laughs> right. And it ain't nothing to be proud of. <laughs> oh, man. I was totally surprised to hear him say that. 
I remember the good old days. I'm would... clapping. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. The video. Right. I remember the good old days. People didn't tell their personal business. Right. Because they knew other people Especially would do that. anything about it. Yeah. Right. And all they're going to do is judge them. Oh, oh. yeah. There's That's nothing oh, yeah. they can do about it. Only God can solve that, right? Exactly. Right. But people throw their stuff out there today like, now they're going no. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. men are as bad as the women with it. Right. Man. I'm like, what the? Man, man. Well, you sense of shame or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I was surprised when I saw DC acting that way. Yeah. He yeah. was all up on the chair. I'm like, right, what the? right, right. That was a trip, man. It that was. was a trip. That was a trip. Um. Where am I now? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what type of reaction you guys? I'm glad this helped. Oh yeah. And, and are you scared to face your mama too? No. Yeah, you are. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say scared, but I'm more... Um, Nervous. As far as with my dad, though. Not with my oh, mom. As far yeah. as with my dad. But you're not afraid to go no, and forgive her? No, me and my mom, we had a really good relationship. That's, the, that's who raised me and stuff like that. So I'm, always, I'm used to her. You know why you have a good relationship with her? Why? Because you can't be honest with her. Uh, <laughs> that's not a good relationship. <laughs> why you say that? Why I say what? That I can't be honest with her. Because you know she ain't going to like it? She <laughs> want to go off? So you tiptoe around her, you be nice, you go along just to please. That's why you don't deal with your wife in the right way. You can't handle it. I don't think I want to handle it. I think that's what it is. You don't want to? I don't think that's what it is. No, I can't. You're scared I don't to handle it. Well, when you are. Back, you think so? You are. You th well, really? Oh, yeah, you are. Beta. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you are. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so don't let the devil make you make up all excuses because he's keeping you in bondage. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair you enough. You want to overcome fear. You got to face your mother. Mm -hmm. Right. And why are you afraid to face your father? Um, I think I'm scared to hear the wrong answer that, I'm, that I don't want to hear, that I already maybe have in my own mind. What, you know what answer I mean? are you looking for? Um, when he left, why he just never came back? Why, why he never came and visit, why he never got no phone calls. Um, you know, I can understand if you and moms had whatever they had going on, and right. you left her for whatever reason, that's cool. I'm grown now, too. I have relationships. I left other women for different situations and stuff like that, but why he just never came around? And what answer are you looking for? Are you afraid what answer you might get? That he didn't want to. Why do you think fathers love their children? I, 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 right, yeah. but that's the answer that I'm scared to hear. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I didn't want to come around because of X, Y, and Z. Or... I guarantee you he's not going to say, I didn't want to come around because of you. Right. He's not going to say that because that's not true. Right. He may say, I didn't want to come around because you're mama. Yeah. Or I tried to come around. She, didn't, she forbid that from happening. Right. But he's not going to say, I didn't want to come around to see you. He does want to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, we got a good relationship now, <laughs> but we just never talked about the past. You never asked him? Nope. Nope. Never asked. And you know, because I'm the kind of person to where it's like, once so much time goes on, I just feel like it's time to move forward now. But you can't move forward until you forgive, until mm -hmm. you ask. No, you're right. You're not moving forward. No, you're right. You're right. In my mind, I thought I was. Yeah. But I'm not. You no, know? you're not. Right. And so when you go to him, just ask, why did you not come back? Why did you... Leave. I just want to know. Right. Because you're not accusing him. You're trying to get information. Yeah, right. yeah. Even when you go and forgive, you're not going there and accusing your parent. You're saying, I'm sorry for resenting you. I understand now you can't help yourself. Right. You know, and I'm sorry. And God will forgive you. That's why he, God didn't tell us to ask people for forgiveness. He said, forgive them and I'll forgive you. Right. Yeah. And so right. you're going to say, hey, I'm sorry for resenting you. I understand. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And, yeah. and so... Have no expectation. Right. Did you know it's wrong. Right, right, right. right. No, you're expectation right. No, you're is not right. good. No, you're right. You're right. You're I, not supposed to expect anything right. from anyone right. at any time yep. for anything. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred well, percent. Yep. I have. I heard that several times. I have heard that yeah. several times. And you know, not to cut you off, no. but when you don't don't expect expectations, right? Things seem to flow a little bit more smoothly. They will, mm -hmm. perfectly. You know what I mean? They will flow perfectly yeah. if you have no expectation. And, yeah. and I believe that's why we clash, because I expect certain Absolutely. things from him. And yeah. Yep. Never knew that. Why, if you never expect anything from him or mm -hmm. he expects anything, you got a relationship would be perfect. Right. right. 
Because there would be no expectations. Yep. No ups and no downs. Yep. You're right. I've never, this is new to me. Never uh, heard I have heard that. I heard that several times though. Don't, don't, don't go into, don't go into a relationship with expectations. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Anything, a business relationship yeah, 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 yeah. Right. or anything. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Have no, you, as a matter of fact, you should live life with no expectation. Mm -hmm. None. Just live life in the moment. Mm -hmm. Right. And it'll just happen for you. It has its own. Life will take care of you. You don't need to take care of it. Mm -hmm. It'll right. happen for you. Right. And it's nothing like what you can imagine. Right. So drop your little expectation mm -hmm. and go and talk to your daddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to do that. I can do that. And don't listen to anything that the mind is telling you. Mm -hmm. Right. Because have you heard me say all thoughts are all lies all the time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. you do you believe that? Yes. Yeah, I do. You do? I do. All thoughts are all lies. All yeah, I yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. Do you create your own thoughts? Yeah. You do create your own thoughts? And do. how do you do it? Because sometimes I draw my own narrative of, of what I may think something is or... And where do you get those, your narrative from? Just by drawing my own conclusion. And where do you get that from? By just um, seeing something that, that's occurring or... And, and where do you get that from? By seeing it. I mean, but when, you, when you're looking at something, right? Where you get into ideas of what it is and what it means so you can draw your own narrative. Where are those ideas coming from? Um, I don't know. They're just coming in my mind. They're just, they're just, they're just different scenarios just popping all and through my mind. where is it coming from? My mind. And, my thoughts. And all thoughts are all what? Bad. All lies. Oh, yeah, all, well, all lies. So they're still not your thoughts, so your narrative is wrong. Right. Because you still listen to the devil. You listen to thoughts. Mm -hmm. right. We are not our thoughts. They don't come from God, and they do not come from you. And that's why they're never right. So that's why they wow. say that I don't mind it's the devil's playground. Yeah. That's where the devil dwell, and that's why God said, don't listen to thoughts because thoughts are of the devil. My voice is a voiceless voice. He revealed, mm -hmm. and Satan talked to you. Mm -hmm. right. And Satan sound like you mm -hmm. and make you think you're creating your own thoughts, and you're not. Okay. You are giving us a life lesson. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. And the reason you guys are seeing it because you want it. Yes. You want what's right. Mm -hmm. And it's already in you. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is inside of us. It's up there too, but it's inside of us. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why God said to know yourself, right? Get to know thyself. Mm -hmm. And you will see that the spiritual war going on in your head. Mm -hmm and trying to keep you away from the light right? Yeah. by making you believe the thoughts. Right, yeah. right. And I, I had anxiety for the longest. I'm, I'm, I have it slightly, but yeah. not as bad as I used to because I started praying more, and you're making my life make a lot of sense to me right now. Right you are she does a eye. lot better with the anxiety. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, Well, all anxiety up. come from anger. Mm -hmm. It's going to all anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. suicidal thoughts, mm -hmm. loneliness, mm -hmm. sadness, and fake happiness, and mm -hmm. all that is from thoughts, from anger. And when anger is gone, all that would disappear too, because mm -hmm. that's the nature of the devil. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So our nature needs to change, and once you overcome anger, your nature changed from abnormal to normal, which is of God. Mm -hmm. And none of those things are inside of him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the devil's nature. Mm -hmm. right. Amazing. How amazing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up, man. You made my, my whole life make a lot of sense in a few minutes. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense to me. And again, it's because God is already there. Right. And I can't make you see the truth. No mm -hmm. human being can make another human being see the truth. Right. But those who are seeking the truth, when they hear it, they recognize oh, it, yeah. and that's God that allowing them to recognize it, and He's drawing you back to Him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's crazy. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. Makes a lot of sense, though. Right. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this anyway. I never, <laughs> I didn't expect it was gonna go this way at all. I never know what to expect anyway, right. so I always have a way to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is amazing. This really is. is. I appreciate it. Because yeah. you're talking about things, you're asking us things and telling us things that I've been praying about. Yeah. And you're answering it all right now. 
amazing. Right. Our cameraman son loves your show also. He watches you all the time. Right. Yeah. Hello, cameraman son. <laughs> What's his name? Lante Wilson. What's his name? Lante Wilson. Lante? Lante. Lante Wilson. Yeah. Hey, Lante Wilson. <laughs> amazing. Don't be a beta male, be an alpha male. <laughs> I'll tell you, listen, okay. <laughs> is there anything you guys, because this thing is totally gone, I can throw this away, but yeah. is there anything you guys disagree with me about, any of my shows you've seen, or anything, any question about anything? Any disagreement? Uh, I had something in mind, but I can't remember now. It was, it was, <laughs> it was about one of your shows, oh. too, though. Oh, yeah? I, yeah, I can't remember right now, though. Nice. Yeah. That's what happens when anger disappears. You yeah. forget. <laughs> <laughs> right. To forgive means to forget. Right. Yeah. So let me ask, are you guys more conservative or liberal, Democrats or Republican? How that goes? More conservative. More and, so, and how about you? Same. Yeah. Conservative. Have you ever been, were you Democrats at one time? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. And what changed your mind? I, just me seeing, seeing my, myself included and the people around me. Um, everyone just being too comfortable. I was receiving food stamps, yeah. welfare, and my life was just gone. I had yeah. no life. And I, I just, I remember one day I was in the grocery store and I had a, a lot of food stamps. And we, I had two shopping carts full of food. And I'm, it just clicked. It's like, Jamie, what are you, what are you doing? What are, you, what are you doing? This is, you're able-bodied, you can, you can work. You know, my life, I have, I feel I'm a talented person. person right. And I'm, I was letting my life go to waste because yeah. of my laziness. And I, it wasn't doing anything for me. That's and I, I want more in life. So I had to change, change it up and show my kids better because yeah. I wasn't shown the right way to go, so. And how did your friends feel once you changed, you, your eyes were open? Did they, thought you were crazy for? Yeah, thinking I'm better than. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, you know, she, she acts different now, she. You, we are Uncle Tom's now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that happened to me too. Mm -hmm. uh, and how about you, what changed your mind from a Democrat to a Republican. Um, <clears throat> I think when I started really uh, researching candidates and you know seeing what they really stand for, um, and also growing up in a Democratic family, yeah. I started realizing that certain things that Democrats party say they don't deliver. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? I'm looking at our community that I live in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Why am I continue to vote for these candidates, but they're not delivering anything, you know? So, and then especially when I started reacting to uh, different reactions, we started reacting to right. um, Jordan Peterson, oh, yeah. um, yourself, a yeah. um, few other people that I was watching, and it just started all making sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like um, the Democratic Party was pacifying. The black community. Absolutely, man. You know what I mean? It was pacifying the black community. So, and making us all lazy. Yeah. Right. And not wanting to go get jobs. And they was literally kicking the, the, the father out the household. Yeah. And, and, the, and the government became the new father, so to speak. You know what I mean? Because, like she said, you got the food stamps now and you got this and you got that. So, what would you demand for it when, you know, nice. taxpayers is paying? I know, taking your, your care of right Yeah, now. you know, so, I mean, so that's, that's, that's what made me wake up um, and kind of look at things a little bit different. I, uh, I grew up in Alabama on a plantation, right? Mm -hmm. And I had worked all my life. I uh, uh, taking care of myself, and then I moved out here at 18, and I started listening to Jesse Jackson and all those people. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about how bad the white man is, and he tried to hold the black man down, and right. blah, blah, blah. Right. And being a young man, I fell for the lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believed into it. Mm -hmm. And then once I believed into it, I stopped taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. right. And I even ended up on welfare. Mm -hmm. And the only way I got on it, though, I used to, I, I used to smoke pot a little bit. Okay. You ever smoke pot? I still do. <laughs> you smoke pot? <laughs> on the way here. What the? <laughs> Did you? Absolutely. You smoke pot, too? <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Absolutely, I do. I'm sure everybody smells it when I walk in the building, right? So, so you high now? Uh, huh? Are you high right now? Am I? What? Uh, you can't tell, though. Huh? You all wide eyed now, I can tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you been smoking something too? No. Oh, you don't smoke pot? Yes, part time I do. Yeah. Not full Nothing time. like me. I'm, I'm like a Snoop time. Dogg. Really? Yeah. Oh, you like a Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg smoking. He still smoking? I believe so. What the? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I couldn't really, I smoked it a little bit, but I really couldn't smoke it heavily. Right. Because when I smoked it, I would feel insecure. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if I was making sense or not. Mm -hmm. And I remember we used to get high. My friends used to say, oh, come on, let's go out mm -hmm. to the club or something, right? Mm -hmm. And on the way to the club, they would be passing the joint. Mm -hmm. I'm like, look. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all pass this joint to me, <laughs> we're not going in the club. Right. So you might either leave that home or don't pass don't the Don't pass joint. it, right. Yeah. Skip me. Because I just didn't, I couldn't feel myself. I, right. I didn't know. Right, 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 right. And so they would pass it anyway. Mm -hmm. And by the time we get to the club, I'm so high. <laughs> Like, I'm not going in. Right. I can't go in. Right. And they would get mad and have to take me back home. Mm. And I'm like, I told you, don't get me high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you gave him a warning. Right. Though, you know right. what I'm mean? saying? I remember them, them first times. You know, yeah. I'm like, what yeah. the? And then the pot was, wasn't nearly as strong as it is today. I don't know what y'all smoking today. Yeah, that well, stuff smell like poison. <laughs> he said it smells like poison. Some of it can. Yeah, you can smell it all the way down the road. <laughs> yeah. You can be on the freeway and somebody's smoking in a car. You're right. It'll get you high. That's me. Right. Wow. I, can, I can drive by you and you will get high for sure. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. And then, so being high, I used to hold these parties every Friday. Mm. Night. You did? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then, uh, I heard some black people say that if you high and you black, mm. you can go down to the welfare office and get <laughs> food stamps and and money, mm. right? Mm. Because you 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 get high, so you're not capable of working like <laughs> a And you believe that? I believe that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I went down there, and I said, "Oh, I can't work." And they're like, "Why not?" <laughs> I, said, I, I said, "I smoke pot." Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. True story. I'm yeah. not making it up at really? all. And then, so they gave me a $100 food stamp every month yeah. and $300 cash. Okay. And I'm like, whoa. This is <laughs> yeah, ain't yeah. no use to go to work. Right. <laughs> and so I would just party every weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would make sure that. I'm not like those blacks that don't make sure they have food right, right, right. and pay the rent. Mm -hmm. You know, right. mm -hmm. I'll make sure I pay my rent, yeah. mm -hmm. have food in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause when I get high, I knew I couldn't move. Right. Right. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and so I would get high, and finally one day, I was like you. I'm like, I'm worse off now than I ever been in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I wasn't working or mm -hmm. anything. Right? right. And so. I thought to myself, if the white man is holding me down, why is it that he's not holding Jesse Jackson and all the people who are right. claiming mm -hmm. that the white man holding you down? Because they were doing well, they lived in big houses, they mm -hmm. had families mm -hmm. and everything. And I realized we had been lied to, that I had been mm -hmm. lied to about right. the mm -hmm. whole race thing. Right. And so I, I dropped it, I dropped the food stamp and, yeah. the, and the money for mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. And I, at the time too, I had a house. I had bought a house, I was 25, yeah. and uh, the whole house, it was a three bedroom, oh no, two bedroom, living room, dining room, big old night house with a guest house in the backyard. It was only yeah. $300 a month. Wow. And the whole house cost $20,000. Wow. wow. There was some. Wow. <laughs> and I bought that house, and in one year, it went from 20000 to 100000 Damn, $80,000. Wow. Just like that, it went up, real estate went wow. up. Wow. And so I bought me a little red uh, what part of Alabama? Mustang. What part of Alabama? Uh, down by you fall Alabama, Tuskegee. Okay. In that area, by Montgomery. My mom from Chattanooga. Oh, nice. Yeah. But long story short, I realized my life was going to hell. I wasn't getting better. I was getting weaker and worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I dropped it off and took it back. Stop hating the white folks. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and took back control of my life and mm -hmm. just been up here ever since. Mm -hmm. It's been amazing. So yeah. I totally understand what you mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then at the time, I was a Democrat. I had registered a Democrat out here because when I was growing up, I didn't know any black Democrats. I only knew black Republicans. Right. There were no black Democrats. Really? Right. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, and so, but I didn't know the platform of the Democratic Party or right. the Republican. So I read the platforms, mm -hmm. and I saw that the Democratic Party was anti-family, anti-God, mm -hmm. anti-everything military, anti-anything mm -hmm. good. And the Republican Party was for all those things, mm -hmm. freedom, independence. Mm -hmm. So I switched party, and yeah. my family was like, what is wrong with you? Oh, yeah. Now, what year was this? This was in, uh, I was in my 20s, 60s, okay. and about this. 70s sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, early 70s. Okay. And uh, my family, I, mean, I can relate because some of my family members turned on me. They couldn't understand. Yeah. And my friends couldn't understand how how you going to be a Republican? You black. Right. Right. right, right. Like, I don't have a right to change my mind. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what right. The? All Republicans is, are just white or something like right. that. Yeah, right. they call you right. all kind of names. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been mean, called don't every all. name in the mm -hmm. book and then some. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we're coons. We everything. Yeah. All in the comments. I even have all the all Coon that. Award. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a cool award. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I have it in my in my radio studio. Wow. wow. They call me Cool Award, but I don't care. Right. It didn't even bother me. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is one slave that left the Democratic plantation. Mm -hmm. right. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. It is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. So, but I didn't mind that they left. It didn't bother me. Anyway, so did you grow up vote for the Great White Hope? Uh, at this last election, no. You did not. No. No, right. I, I I haven't truly woke up by, by that time. Oh. Right. So I was still kind of, well, well, kind of at that time I was kind of independent, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. I, I, I wasn't really a Democrat or a Republican or whatever. I was just, you know. Right. Yeah. How about you? Did you vote for the Great White no. Hope? No. So y'all know who the Great White Hope is? Yes. Who? Trump. Trump. Wow. <laughs> now you're awake. <laughs> Trump, man. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And what did you think about the fallen Messiah, Barack Obama, Big Mama Michelle? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. I feel that <laughs> <laughs> he he didn't do much. Damn. He didn't do much at all. He didn't. One of the main things that I didn't like was you getting penalized for not having medical. Uh, That's that was. To me, that's insane, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like you mm -hmm. forcing somebody to get, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, like when you're young, how many times you go to a hospital unless you really have a health condition or something like that? You spend who you young. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, but. And even if I'm old and I don't want to right. get no income, let me die. <laughs> That's right. your yeah. choice. I have decided I don't want no yeah. help. Yeah. Let me die. Yeah. Right. Your choice. You can't force that on me. Right. right. And then I have to pay for it too. Exactly. What the? Or get penalized for it. Yeah. You know, so well, I got man. penalized for it. You did? Hell yeah, I did. Oh, man. Yeah. I know other people who did too. Yeah. I totally know people who did. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that at all. Floodgates. Yeah. There are a lot of things that's going on today. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Things that I ain't going to touch on. Right. On camera, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. But yeah. What a mess. Oh, yeah. yeah. Black people always turn it into a hood. Oh, yeah. They going to mess it up come <laughs> hell out of <laughs> What's wrong uh, with the blacks? Uh, <laughs> damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is a man? What is a man? A protector? Um, a provider? Um, someone who shows stability? Um, strength? And what is a woman? Soft, caring, loving, nurturing. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. And what is love? God is love. Yeah. God is love. Yeah, I can say that. God is love. You gonna um, say that too, or you just following your wife right now? No, I mean I was gonna say that, but uh, uh -huh. just do a different answer. Yeah. Should a man ever follow a woman? No. Who you say that? No. And why not? We're too emotional. We we work with feelings, and we will we will 
Adam and Eve, for example. Absolutely. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Eve, yeah. She, right. She, yeah. That's the reason why we are <laughs> right now today. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so. Because when Eve listened to the devil, he right. became her God. Yep. And when the man listened to the woman, she became his God. Mm -hmm. Yep. And God said, because you listen to the woman, yep. you will suffer. Yep. And every time a man listens to the woman, he suffers. Oh, yeah. Yep, you're right. Isn't that something? Yeah. Amazing. You are making things make Amazing. so much. I feel enlightened right now. I feel right really on. good. You opened my eyes to a lot of things. You, amazing. Amazing, yes. <laughs> and now your kids are going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Because once you deal with your mama, mm -hmm. you're going to have nothing but love in you. And you won't pass on that anger to them. Right. You're right. going to be patient with them. Mm -hmm. You're going to be right with them. Mm -hmm. And that's what will keep them on track. Right. Yeah. And so just apologize to them for the, the lack of patience. Right. You know what, kids? I'm wrong. I've mm -hmm. been impatient with you. I yell at you. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm wrong. And they're going to love that. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And that's what's going to cause them to forgive you. Mm-hmm. You know something? That's something. And same with you. Apologize to the kid. Hey, I'm wrong. Because parents never admit they're wrong. Right. They won't say that to the kids. Right. right. And the kids can see that the parents are wrong, but the parents won't say it. It right. drives the kids crazy. Yeah. It yeah. drives them nuts. You do got those parents out there who will not apologize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll send you to hell before they say they're wrong. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. So listen, I got to put you on the hot seat. Okay. This has gone totally the way I, I didn't know how it was going to go, but uh, this has been deep and been good. Uh, it really has. So I, gotta, I need you guys to answer these questions as quickly as possible. The hot seat. I'll start with you first. Who is funnier, white people or black people? <sighs> white people. Is it, is it ever okay for a man to hit a woman? No. Is it okay for a man to play in women's sports? No. Is it okay for women to play in men's sport? No. Amazing. Uh, did Big Mama Michelle Obama eat up all the ribs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't ask me that one. <laughs> oh. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. <laughs> yeah, that was a question right there. <laughs> Does a chicken have lips? Damn. No. Is it, is it wrong for a black man to love the Confederate flag? Hmm. Ooh, that's deep. Yeah. Because I don't know too much about the Confederate flag, so I, yeah. I can't really answer it. How about you? Is it wrong for a black man to love the Confederate flag? I, I, I couldn't answer that question, to be honest with you. Because I, I, she just said, I don't really don't know too much knowledge of the oh, okay. Confederate flag. I can remember is Deuce of Hazard. Yeah. That's my Generally. memory. Yeah, that's, yeah. My, that's yeah. my memory of nice. the Confederate flag. Mexican food or soul food? Mexican. Is the earth flat or round? Round. Do we need more white babies? Yes. Um, should black men be allowed to, should black men be allowed to call each other the N-word? Damn. <laughs> he calls everybody the N word. Really? He doesn't care what. Because he always high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any black man, you saying? Is it, uh, should a black, oh, should black people ever be allowed to call each other the N word? Yes. What do you say? Yes. Yes. Did you have fun? Absolutely. Amazing. Did you have fun? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah. Thank you guys for coming. Thank, Thank you for having That was us. totally amazing. Tell the folks how to get your YouTube channel and whatever you're doing. What camera are we looking at? This right one? Right here, yeah. You want to go? Or you want? Oh, go ahead. All right, so subscribe to the channel, Half and J, YouTube channel. It's Half, H-A-L-F, and J, J-A-I. Y'all come join the community, man. We're over there having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. You know, give a lot of laughs. Also bring a lot of awareness. So come join the fun, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Plus, 
who wouldn't want to see half a J, right? And plus, we're kicking off what? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. Good, Good vibes. vibes. Boom. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that on your channel. And did you guys practice that? How do you know to do it at the same time? He is a s slogan machine. No, you came up with that one, though. No, you did. No, you said, baby, we should do the good vibes, baby. Good vibes, boo, boo. You but that's cool the way y'all do those movements oh, yeah. together. It's, yeah. it's fun. Yeah. It's, yeah it's it fun. adds to the show, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. serious. Yeah. Thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you. you. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in. Remember that the fall estate is now on locals.com. So click the description link and uh, click the link to the description to support our work. And you can become a member of the fall estate and support us in that way on our YouTube channel. I do appreciate it. So check out the merch, uh, everything, and let me hear from you. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you guys again for Thank coming. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing.